Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. All praise to the Most High. So we're going to talk about kingdom marriages. You know, your date spouse. This is what a lot of people don't talk about, but a lot of people do talk about. And a lot of people are un unaware of. So I'm just going to give you, you know, some advice about kingdom marriages. All right. So a lot of the time when men and women decide to start you know getting their self together for their kingdom spouse and they start asking God for the kingdom spouse and the kingdom marriage right the enemy will often time send in somebody that's wifey material or husband material to you know throw you off and also they could send dreams as well so when that person comes around you should get confirmation from God you shouldn't just assume that is your kingdom spells because let me explain that this to you okay when you're cleaning up your life when you're changing up your life people around you are going to notice that your enemy your energy is going to shift you know your your body's going to change the your aura is going to give off a different impression about you to your friends to your family and maybe to your people your exes right and this thing about marriage, when people are set trying to get their ordained spells, that's when other people try to send attacks, friends, family, and your exes, because they see that, you know, you're not calling them back to hook up anymore. It's just different. But also, God doesn't just send you your ordained spells so quickly, because just because you decided to get your life together right now and start seeking your kingdom marriage it doesn't mean that your ordained spouse is not in a situation already you were in the situation before you decided to clean your life up and say start praying to god and asking him for your ordained spouse so in that time when you're cleaning up and god's cleaning you up and if your spouse is in a situation god starts severing that tie with your ordained spouse and that person all right so and then they had to clean them up to prepare them to be your husband or your wife you get what i'm saying so just like how you decided it's it's time for you to get your kingdom marriage and get your kingdom spouse and god had to work on you god you don't know if your kingdom spouse is in a situation and they have to work on themselves it doesn't even have to necessarily even be there in the relationship, but oftentimes it is. Sometimes they just have to work on their self. God has to prepare them for that marriage. He has to prepare that husband or that wife, all right? And they have to, um, God has to show them you, just like he has to show them to you. So it's not like, and the enemy will, will also show them the counterfeit to you, you know? Just like it'll... The grass is, looks greener on the side on the other side, but there's no soil there. They, they can't grow no seed. You see what I'm saying? You can't plant nothing in artificial grass. You get me? So that's even with if your ordained spouse is with somebody else. That they that's still the grass is not greener. It's artificial grass. You can't plant anything. There's nothing gonna grow. That 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 seed is only gonna be grown with their kingdom partner right but god has to sever that tie so it is a process so you should be patient in this thing with your kingdom spouse because god has to refine you and he has to refine your kingdom spouse as well and um so you guys do come together and it's great you know one flesh but don't just assume that the first couple people that come to you with the whole package is your ordained spells and even if they come up in your dreams you're gonna have to fast and get confirmation from god if that is the one and at the same time god is going to reveal that person to you and god's going to also reveal you to that person so it is a process so um i don't believe in those people like oh your kingdom spouse is gonna come in 48 hours because no you had to go 
you have to go through warfare. You understand? There's a lot of people who start to attack you when you start cleaning up your life for your kingdom marriage and your kingdom spells. You have exes, you have families, you have people that are just throwing attacks. They start looking into your life to see how come you're not acting like that. And then they see that you're trying to get married and they try to stop that. They're like, what do you mean this girl, but she wants to get married? What do you mean this guy, but he wants to get married? And then people start doing underhanded things that you have no idea about. But because a marriage is so important that's why God told you who God put together let no man put asunder because it's not just one people who um, attack marriages it's a lot of people are not happy when people come together especially if they don't like your kingdom spells they're gonna have something to say so God has to separate you both to teach you you know, get you away from certain friends and family that wouldn't even be good for your marriage because God's the one who created that person for you. You know, you could even tell that person that's the person you want to marry and then they're like, what? They, they, they're like, they start telling you things that, nah, you shouldn't be with that person, but that's not who, they're not the judge of that. They didn't create that person for you. They didn't create your marriage. God did. But you have to understand you're going to have a lot of naysayers when someone chooses to get married even of the person that god created for them there's going to be, be people who don't like that and i just want you to know that that is why people go into warfare and that's not something that you just go about bragging about i know like there's people who are very get upset with people being married all the time there's people who are jealous and envious of people getting married there's people who don't want to see two people come together at all you know, there's marriage haters. That's why God had to say, who put, he puts together, let no man put asunder. Because many people come against marriages. You're, you got your exes throwing their, their, you know, their hate. You got friends and family throwing their hate. You got people who know you or know them throwing their hate. So th there's always going to be warfare for your marriage. But, um, yeah, beautiful people, I just want to come on and talk about that that basically your kingdom spouse could be in the situation and God has to clean both of you guys up so you come into a perfect union. Stay blessed.